Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 154. Four. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Again, I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years, life and career coach for actors just like you. I am live on Instagram and I'm live on Facebook, so bear with me with the comments. Um, so today I am answering a question. Y'all, thank you guys on Instagram because you guys are so interactive. Hey, Emmanuel. Hey, Christopher. Hey, Sheree. Hey, yeah. Um, what's up, Jasmine on Facebook? So listen, this is episode 154. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. So listen, happy Wednesday, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I just got my workout in. My endorphins, is that what it's called? Your endorphins, they all pumped up. So I'm pumped for you. So a few days ago on Instagram, you know how on your stories you can do um, questions and polls. I love when you guys uh, interact. And so I asked the question the other day, just what you wanted to know some, some more about. And so I am answering a question today from Merrily. So listen, if this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread and you're an actor, you're like, what the hell is going on? I need tips. I want to work in film. I want to work in TV. I want you to come to my YouTube channel. Just look for Christine Horn. There's over 150 videos. I work in television and film. So if you want to know how to do that, Go there. You can just binge. Turn off the Netflix and turn that on. And if you want to find out how to learn more, come do that. What's up, Terry? Is that, Ms. Is that Terry Bellow? That can't be Terry Bellow. <laughs> so let me get into the question. So Merrily asked, how do, you, um, how do you do a scene that you audition for? She was asking, so you do a scene. You have an audition, whether it's self-tape or it's in person. You, you book it. And so her question was, do you, once you book it, you're on set, they call you to set, you've had your, you know, your rehearsal and they're about to yell action. Do you do the scene the same way that you did it in the audition when you start filming or does it change? And I thought this was an awesome question. I've actually got this from several clients of mine because they're like, oh my God, Christine, I booked it. Like, oh shoot, I booked it. Okay, what now, right? So if you can relate, you know, you can let, let me know in the comments. So the quick answer to that, the easy answer to that is yes. Come in with the intention. What's up, Moya? What's up, Elisa? Come in with the intention of doing what you sold them. You know, like don't do a bait and switch. Like, don't be fierce on camera, fierce on that self say, honey, you show up a hot mess. You don't know your lines. You, you think, I'm going to do something different. No, honey, don't do nothing different. Okay? We booked you this way. Don't change your hair. Don't change nothing about you. If you had a wig on, honey, you show up with that wig on. If you, my man, if you had a goatee or a five o'clock shadow, you show up that way. Do not do the okie doke bait and switch. People have gotten fired for that and they just push that scene to another day or write you out. So let's not do that, especially for television. Television, we know what's happening in the news right now for a certain actor, and things change quick in TV. So don't fall into that trap. So, but here's the other side to it. What's up, Sheena? The other side to this is be fluid, be flexible. What got you the part is what you did. So you're already in the room. You're already winning. Now, you know, I like to, y'all know I'm pumped up because, you know, I'm sweating, sweating for y'all. I like to give you both sides and not to scare you or anything like that, but literally just so that, um, <laughs> Terry says it's me. You're great at what you do. Oh, thank you. What's up, Terry? One of, that's one of the best. Do you call yourself a radio DJ? Is that the wrong term? I don't want to say the wrong term. What, what station you at? So I can shout you out. Um, I got so many amazing friends all over the world. So I know I stay focused, Christine, stay focused. Haven't heard from this person in a long time. So here's the thing. You book a TV. I'm going to do TV for right now, just because that's a lot of you I know who are working with me. That's what you're trying to do most immediately. Um, hey, Risha Reynolds, what's up? So you book it. You know who this character is because you've done your character work. They love you. They booked you. So walk in knowing that. But know this. When you did your audition or your self-tape or if you, did a self, if you did a tape with casting and then you got booked off that tape or you taped at home or in a studio and got booked off that, know that you didn't get to work one-on-one -on -one with the director of that episode. For those of you who don't know, television 
one director does not shoot an entire television series. And that's what makes acting, acting on a television show so much fun, especially if you're a recurring character or if you're a series regular, because you get to all these different perspectives. And, but with all those different perspectives from different directors, they don't know you. They, they've looked at past episodes, past, they look at their script, but you, they are relying on you, the actor, to know who you are, to know who your character is and what you're supposed to be bringing. They're going to bring fresh ideas, but you still have to show up knowing who you are and then and, and sit in that. And that's your job as an actor and as a professional. So ooh, let me plug my computer up. Don't want it to go to die while we're on here. But now that you have a fresh director in front of you, be fluid in that they may say, yeah, I like what you're doing there. Let's try it this way. The wrong thing to do would be like, uh, no, sir, I practiced it this way. I booked it this way is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Most times they're going to let you do it that first way, those first few times, because it's a master. And I'm going to back up, for, excuse me, my more, more advanced people, but for my newbies, my brand new beings, I like to call you guys who are new to, newer to television, the first few shots of the day, Lord have mercy, that's because I just worked out, so I'm all hot. The first few shots of the day are what we call a master. It's super wide. This is not the time, if it's a scene where you're crying, it ain't the scene, ain't the time to let all the buckets out, like save it. It's a master. It's like every background actor, everybody's there. They're just getting a big overview of the scene and then they come closer 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 so that's why if you have a really emotional scene you want to kind of pace yourself i don't like to say save it but pace yourself you know what i mean pace yourself so they may say they'll see what you're doing and then give you adjustments and then just flow with that flow with whatever the director is giving you because now you have this director who's seeing you in person you have the other actors and listen don't be thrown um especially if you're doing a supporting role co-star even a guest star don't be surprised if the star of your show that you're working on a doesn't show up for your rehearsal to read with you and their stand-in is there that happens and don't be surprised if a the star doesn't know their lines. You need to show up ready. You need to show up together. You're the guest star. You're the co-star. You need to be on point. What they knock on, it's understandable that the star of the show or the number one, two, three, four, five on the call sheet, they got a whole script to memorize. What's your excuse? You showed up today. You better be on it and ready. But just be fluid because the director then wants to play. There's been several gigs. Um, the last thing I just shot recently when it's airing, I'll let you know. I can't let you know about that, but be sure to tune in next Tuesday to Miracle Workers on TBS. You will see yours truly on TBS. I love doing comedy. So be sure to check that out next Tuesday. Miracle Workers, hashtag Miracle Workers. Um, thanks, shout out to uh, Felsine Paris on that. Um, <laughs> Andrea says, that's your Baptist preacher towel you were using to wipe your face. <laughs> she said, you know that? That is so true. That's how you know I'm in it. It's an anointing. Come on, Andrea. <laughs> Lord have mercy, get into it. Um, you're making me lose my train of thought. God, what was I just talking? Andrea, what was I just talking about? Somebody told me what I was just talking about. I was trying to prep you for people not knowing their lines. That's it. And you need to know yours. But be fluid, because I had a girlfriend, girlfriend slash client, she knows who she is, who booked a comedy, a sitcom, and she was like, oh my gosh, she called me like from the bathroom, I booked this show, am I, what am I supposed to do, am I supposed to do it the same? Don't stress. Know that you were good enough, know that you got here because of you. And also I was going to say, the show I just shot recently, as soon as I walked on set, they're like, oh my God, we loved your tape. We loved your tape. Oh my God, your audition was amazing. Oh, it was great. As soon as we saw it, we knew with that information, it is essential that I deliver what I did on that tape. So Marilee, to answer your question, that is the answer. Yes, come prepared to do exactly what you did, but be fluid. So guys, these are questions I ask. You know, a lot of times I ask, if you're not in my Facebook, especially those of you on Instagram, I have a, an amazing group called Hollywood Bound Actors. The link is in my bio. Join us as a free Facebook group. If you're not in it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Come on over. And if you have not gotten my free five-day booking magnet, Academy mini course. It's like a five day course 
where we deal with mindset. We do some camera technique. It's totally free. Bookmorework.com. Bookmorework.com. Hey, bookmorework.com. Mm. Bookmorework.com. Okay, go ahead and get that. So that is it. I'm not going to stay here long. You know why? Because I got work to do. Um, but I do want to hear from you. If you have a question, next time, if you're Come on and follow me on Instagram. It's actress Christine Horn. Come on now. Come on. I don't got the Whitney up a lip though. It's just the sides. It's because of the wig. Black girl problems. Um, <laughs> follow me on Instagram, actress Christine Horn. And I often do a lot of these polls and so that you'll you'll see some of those happening. Um, Jasmine asked, was that the tape you posted? No, it's not. I had already, that was something else different. That was more recent. I actually just, I shot something uh, about two weeks ago that I'm referring to on this one. You know, I posted, um, before I wrap here, I posted a little happy dance. There's this girl going viral from Nigeria. Y'all, if you haven't seen it, go to my Instagram page. And after I did a self-tape on Sunday, I think it was, I posted it because I was just feeling amazing about it, Jasmine. And that's the thing, you guys, I want you to remember, I often tell you guys, don't worry about booking the role. Of course, we want to work, but book the room. And even when I'm taping at home, I know when I booked the room. And if you're new to me, what that means is that's when you know you killed it. That's when you know you was prepared. You, your face looks good. Your costumes together. Your character development was good. You broke that script down. Like you're feeling amazing. You're sent, when you hit upload and it's going through the ethers of the world, you know you sent some good-ish into the world. That's the feeling you should have after your auditions. Not, oh, I was tired. I did it anyway. I sent it off. I had to deal with the kids. I didn't have time to study. I guess it's good enough. Like, nah, I don't play those games. That's not how you become a booking magnet. That's not how you stay a booking magnet. It's just about how I feel. I just got released from a pin yesterday for a movie. And I was like, I killed, I knew when I sent that audition, I killed it. Then they checked my availability. I was pinned. And then I got released yesterday. They went another way. It happens. I know I killed it. And I know they, they, they are fans. Remember, guys, only one person can get one job at a time. It is not a reflection all the time on you as an actor. Sometimes you weren't good enough. Sometimes you didn't prepare enough. Sometimes your take was subpar. And it's important that we don't sugarcoat it or pretend that everything was great. I mean, you know, you know, no one has to tell you. You know when that tape, you know what's weird about trying to wipe my face? The computer is, op is opposite, you know what I mean? It's a whole sweat dialogue. Sweat. Come to YouTube, watch my sweat vlog. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go. Again, this is Actors Daily Bread. If you miss any part of this, the replay will be available immediately. Thank you for watching on Instagram. If you're not a part of the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group, come on and join us. It's an amazing community. And on that note about Hollywood Bound Actors, I from I'm talking now I'm talking to my community specifically. You remember last week I asked a question about your questions about script analysis and what, where you felt stuck in breaking down scripts. Or when I asked, I think I asked also, what were the five, what top two trainings do you need and in what order? It was something like that. So many of you answered it. I'm so grateful. And so because of that, because of your answers, I'm going to get my assistant to help me tally all that up and see what the common denominators were. And I'm going to host a free three-day um, kind of mini live training. So I'll put the link out. You'll have to, you know, opt in to make sure you get access. It won't be on Facebook. It'll be on Crowdcast, which is where I like to do my webinars. But you guys really spoke loud and proud about some of the issues you were having with script analysis, which I saw was one of the bigger things more than anything else. Um, so yeah, um, always a pleasure connecting with you guys again binge me on YouTube. Come subscribe. I need subscribers and I need the love. And it's always, you know, stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Good night. Let me end on Instagram first. Good night, you guys on Facebook.